If you want one mountain bike to rule them all, then a trail bike can be the perfect choice. These versatile machines can climb, descend and traverse a huge range of trails, with the latest machines going some way to helping you feel neither under nor overbiked. And with that, here's our top 5 trail bikes for 2023. We'd love to know what you think of our picks, so hit us up in the comments section. Don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you never miss a video. First up on our list is a very new bike. In fact, at the time recording, it hasn't even been released yet. It's the all new Transition Smuggler. The Smuggler has been missing from Transition's range for a few years now, but is back with a bang for 2023. Designed to sit between the hugely popular Spur and the burlier Sentinel, Transition say the Smuggler is the reliable tool you grab for every job. It sits squarely between both bikes in terms of travel, geometry and capability arguably making it the most versatile bike the Transition produces. The Smuggler features 130mm of rear travel, with a piggyback shock on all models combined with a 140mm fork. If 130mm isn't quite enough, we like the idea of Transition Solution. Simply remove a travel spacer from the rear shock and you gain yourself 10mm of additional travel. With 29-inch wheels front and back, the Smuggler promises to be a true weapon on winding single track, meandering climbs and technical descents. But this being a modern trail bike, the suspension's progressive leverage ratio should help when you find yourself on more technical trails, testing the bike's capabilities. The geometry matches the suspension's progressive nature, with a 65-degree head angle, relatively long reach of 485mm for the size large and size specific seat angles and chainstays. Like the rest of Transition's bikes, the Smuggler features neat looking internal cable routing, comprehensive frame protection and a handy storage mount under the top tube. Available in aluminium or carbon framed models, the new Smuggler is one bike we cannot wait to swing a leg over in 2023. Trex Fuel EX has been around for nearly two decades and in that time it has forged its name as one of the great quintessential trail bikes. You'll be hard pressed to find someone who hasn't owned one or know someone who has. Like many of its contemporaries, the Fuel EX has bulked up over the years, starting with 100mm of travel way back in 2005. The latest iterations have 140mm of travel out back teamed with a 150mm fork. This brings us neatly to the juicy details on the latest Fuel EX. Redesigned from the ground up for 2023, it's the most capable Fuel EX ever and is bang up to date. Next up, the Fuel EX packs 10mm more travel front and rear than the previous version. It's also now coil shock compatible thanks to a flip chip in the lower shock mount to alter the progression curve of the suspension. As well as the boost in travel, Trek have overhauled the geometry and added even more adjustability so you could customise your riding experience. To go with the existing Minolink adjustment that can raise or lower the bottom bracket by 10mm and fine tune the head angle by half a degree, the new Fuel EX can also be fitted with angle adjust headset cups. This means your humble trail bike can have a head angle as slack as 63.5 degrees, a whopping 2.5 degrees slacker than the old bike. But if you like the handling of the old bike, then fear not, you can steepen the Fuel EX to a 66 degree head angle. The Fuel EX doesn't sacrifice climbing performance though, with a steep seat angle that ranges from 78.8 to 75.2 degrees depending on the chosen frame size. Speaking of sizes, Trek offers the latest Fuel EX in a massive 8 different sizes with the extra small size running 27.5 inch wheels, an option of 27.5 or 29 inch wheels on the size small and 29 inch wheels on sizes medium and upwards. Don't worry, you can run your Fuel EX as a mullet bike if you want to as well. Just swap out the minnow link into the high position, throw in a 160mm fork and 275 back wheel and you're ready to party. This makes MBUK presenter Will very happy. What makes him less happy is the £11,800 price tag of the range topping model. Boo! For more details on the new Fuel EX along with much cheaper options, check out the link in the description below. Another classic given a recent makeover, the Santa Cruz Hightower sits in a sweet spot within their range, with 150mm of travel up front, complemented by 145mm in the rear. 
Santa Cruz claim the high tower is their greatest hit of engineering, combining big wheels and medium travel while being short on fuss. Sharing a similar frame silhouette to its stable mates, the high tower features Santa Cruz's VPP suspension design that has been a signature of the range for over 20 years. The latest VPP bikes are very different from the originals though, with a lower link driven shock design inspired by the successful V10 downhill bike. The layout on the latest high tower has been tuned to be more progressive to better deal with bigger hits, while also having 40% less anti-squat early in the stroke. This should help keep the suspension supple going up or down and generate monstrous amounts of ground hugging traction, while losing none of that pop and agility Santa Cruz bikes are known for. The high tower retains the high low geometry adjustment, but any other changes compared to the old bike's geometry are rather subtle. The head angle sits at 64.5 or 64.8 degrees, while the seat angle is nice and steep at 77 or 76.6 degrees to put you in an efficient climbing position. The bottom bracket height changes from 342mm to 338mm when changing between the two settings. As with their other bikes, the High Tower gets their glove box internal frame storage and Santa Cruz offers the High Tower in their high-end CC or cheaper C carbon frames. It's a good job there are cheaper versions of the High Tower, as the top spec version costs an eye-watering £9,299. White have been at the forefront of 29-inch wheel mountain bike design longer than most. The legendary T129 won our Trail Bike of the Year way back in 2013, and while they had a brief foray back into the limelight, we've been waiting for the T129's spiritual successor ever since. Enter the all-new white T140. Not to be confused with the old 27.5-inch wheel T140, the 2023 version packs a whole new aluminium frame and 29-inch wheels, with a 140mm fork matched to 135mm at the rear. White's now signature SCR suspension was one of the first one by specific designs around, and thanks to White's typical attention to detail, features incredibly durable bearings that will take some serious abuse. White were also one of the first brands to really kick off the longer, lower and slacker trend, and the T140 is no exception. It features a slack 65.3 degree head angle that can be slackened even further with the switchable Shape It link. This rakes it out to 64.7 degrees and lowers the bottom bracket by 8mm to a ground-threateningly low 330mm, cornering fun for days ahoy! White have always been known for offering exceptional value for money, and with the new T140 starting at just £3,299, this is one value-packed trail bike to watch out for. We know what you're thinking, and screaming in the comments, the Stum Jumper Evo has been around for a few years now. While that may be the case, the latest Evo still stands out today thanks to its radical geometry and huge range of adjustment. The head angle and bottom bracket height can be independently adjusted, tailoring the geometry just how you like it. The head angle can go from a crazily slack 63 degrees to a far more conservative 65.5 degrees, and the bottom bracket can be as low as 331 mm or as high as 342 mm. The Evo uses specialised S sizing geometry, so you can pick your size based on the frame reach you feel most comfortable with and still fit a long dropper post. Sounds like a win to us! Geometry isn't the only trick in the Stump Jumper Evo's arsenal, it's a practical bike too. Even the alloy version gets their SWAT downtube storage system. Available with either a carbon or aluminium frame, the Stump Jumper Evo can be as spendy as £10,000 for the Range Stopping S Works model, down to £3,900 for the entry level Evo Comp alloy. But if you want to know more, check out our review of the alloy Stump Jumper Evo in the link in the description. So, what do you think of our top 5 trail bikes for 2023? Did we miss anything out? And what bikes are you looking forward to seeing this year? Let us know in the comments below. If this wasn't enough trail bikes for you, then why not check out this video? But first, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future uploads. See you in the next one!